roll on that. I'm already rolling. Why aren't you rolling tribe? on that? Okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This video is all about variable NDs, specifically the new. Do we have one? I got one. Specifically the new moment variable NDs. We are hyped on these. They just dropped today. We want to talk about how we use them, kind of show you some with and without results, mm. and give you some best practices, talk about some of the features on this. Um, yeah, so if you're curious to learn about variable NDs, hopefully this video shows you everything you need to know. And we left we left snowy Seattle and came down to Cali, baby. It's actually nice here. Look at I, I feel happier. Was it? I feel actually happier here. See that? Did you adjust so your bright. variable to make See sure that? you were exposed? Oh, bam. Single person out. Does it work for photos? Yeah. Okay, so the first example we're gonna show you is literally just as simple as walking down this pier right here. What you'll notice is that um, right now we're shooting 24 frames per second, so we want our shutter speed double, so you get that nice motion blur on the edges of the shot, it gives it a more cinematic look. Then we'll do a without the variable ND filter, which you'll have, essentially have to crank up your shutter speed, giving you more of a choppy look, so here's what that looks like. All right, this is with the filter. Here's my hands to show a lot of motion. All right, this is me taking it, pretending like I'm vlogging in the right shutter speed. Nice motion blur. You can see right here, look at this. Nice, almost a Caleb, nice motion blur. <laughs> this is without a filter. All right, here's the hands again. Let's see what that looks like. And this is vlogging uh, with the wrong shutter speed. It probably looks kind of jittery. I'll almost hit Caleb again. Do, do I look cool? What is it? Did you my sink in my hometown? All right, simple test, water. There's a lot of motion in it, so you should be able to tell. Uh, this is with filter. So gross, actually. So this is without a filter. Probably looks a little worse. One more done. As filmmakers, we've used a lot of variable NDs before. Some of them are really expensive, but they're great. Some of them are really cheap and not so great. Um, Moments variable NDs honestly are right in that sweet spot of pro quality at a fair price, but yeah, super oh. sharp. Yeah, girl. Oh, what? What's up, girl? You like variable NDs? So we've been talking a lot about filmmaking with the variable NDs, but it's also a good tool for photography, getting long exposure of spots in the really bright light. We're gonna put this thing on the sticks and give it a shot with this uh, non-symmetrical pier. There's no way to get this shot without an ND because it's just too bright. You can't drag your shutter like I'm dragging, so let's rip it. If you do happen to see some footage um, from Venice Beach, we're not down there today, but yesterday we were down in Venice shooting more footage of the filter, testing it out. Um, that's when Taylor was there. We were doing, it was, it was fun. So if you see cutaway footage from that, some B-roll in this of the filter, um, yeah, we shot in Venice yesterday. Now kind of down here vlogging in San Clemente Pier. All right, one of the products we are super, super hyped on is the new Drone Variable ND. This is a super unique product um, just because rather than showing up on set and having to like hold your drone up and your uh, and your screen and then like changing NDs, you just get to rotate that, that, that little guy right there. So uh, they're super lightweight, they look amazing. I know Mike's like fully frog Dude, boy. I am so freaking soaked on this. Using fixed NDs on drones is usually a little bit annoying. Um, this changes that. I haven't seen this done before, so I am pretty pumped about it.
right, we're heading up from the water now. Sorry if that was a bit noisy, but uh, I think we're gonna go get a burrito now. Woo. So, yeah, that's got nothing to do with the filters, but no worries. Thumbnail? Uh, so yeah, so you can exit out of that. You're gonna Kyle. Go Thumbnail? Yeah. Hey, moment. What up? shot because you're reflecting oh my gosh <laughs> if you were curious we're shooting on the EOS R for today's video um, with the filter on it the entire time obviously but um, got a 5D mark 4 right here the filter on the end basically all you do to use it is you put it on and then you twist it depending on how much density or light you need so you can get perfect micro adjustments for your exposure one of my absolute favorite features about the moment variable ND filter is how on the back of the filter um, while you're shooting you can actually see we kind of have this raised ring on the outside which makes it easy to grab and twist but you also have your ND number on what ND value you're shooting at so you can easily reference where you're at and know exactly without turning your camera around looking at it uh, you can see what stop you're at which is super cool. Another great thing about variable ND filters is that motion blur which makes those whoosh cool transitions a little easier. Woo! Holy smokes it's bright out here. Just checking the waves. Right now, it's literally probably the brightest part of the day, and this ND filter right now that's on it is maxed out to ND32. The cool thing is, we've made two versions, um, one that's a little bit less dense, and one that's more dense. So basically, ND4 to ND32, and then ND64 to ND512. And why is there two densities? So the reason we have two is because if there was to only be one, you'd get some pretty ugly cross polarization. When, when there's too much ND from like beginning to end, you get weird color shift and basically it just, the quality suffers. So, we made two. This one is the four to 32. What that is for is what we've been shooting on, kind of like morning light, evening light, shooting inside, all that. This one is ND64 to 512. This is for your crazy bright light, like right now, Caleb's filter, he's got to crank his aperture to like an F5.6 F or something. With this, we could go all the way down to a 1.4. So let's do that really quick. Do you want to, you want to take, take, take that off real quick? All right, that's a little bit better. Not better for my eyes. ND filters are kind of like sunglasses actually for your camera. Wow, honestly, you could totally rock these as sunglasses. Like my eyes feel way better right now. A few use cases for shooting with the higher density variable ND would be shooting in the desert, shooting the beach, shooting something with tons of blue sky, shooting really bright days in the snow. Anything where there's just tons of light from the sun and tons of light bouncing around. So right now we have like water, sand, blue sky. There's so much light that this variable in D is perfect. Another thing that's a little bit more technically advanced too with the darker um, ND filter is that if your camera, your cinema camera has a higher native ISO, meaning that camera gets its best dynamic range at like 850 ISO or even higher, um, depending on the camera, basically you're gonna want that because if you come out and shoot outdoors, you even wanna put your camera at F2.8, uh, chances are you'll max out that ND32 filter pretty quick. So if you're shooting on, if that, if you understand that, you shoot at a higher native ISO, definitely go with the darker one if you're in bright conditions. In Seattle still, I'd probably still go with the lower one just because we ain't ever get sun. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in D32 and it's really dark right now, so I'm going to lower my shutter speed. The grandma love that one. Alright, heading back to the house. Uh, maybe get a nice la latte? Hey Niles, can we get an ice latte? All right, transition to ice latte. All right, we got them. Ice lattes. Cheers, dude. 
This is like Kern's first ice, ice latte with Niles on the team. Oh, man, good. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know if that was in focus or whatever. All right. Good stuff. We've got Pedro's, we've got ice lattes. We're spoiled YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? Shout out SoCal Money, baby. Living with my in-laws. All right, next example, uh, pretty easy. It's gonna be uh, running with your dog, or your dog running uh, quickly. Hey, come here. <laughs> All right, let's end this. Let's wrap this up. Okay, um, there's one more thing that we want to tell, say, tell the people. About our filter. About our filter. Most filters, uh, variable in Ds or whatever filter you're using, you can't put your lens cap back on, but ours? We thought about that. <laughs> it's on. Yeah, it's snuck. Basically, with like the center clip lens, uh, the center clip lens, what are they called? Cup protector lens. Devices. I don't know. Covers. What are those called? But yeah, your OG lens cap will work now, which is sick. Um, should we wrap this thing up? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching. Variable NDs. Hope you learned something. Hopefully, the examples kind of showed you what they look like. Uh, moment variable NDs, obviously linked below. Um, I know this was a little <laughs> all over the place, fun vlog, but a um, little with and without for you guys. If you've been around since like the OG days, here's paint, two oh. years old. Uh, yeah, he's been in a few a few vlogs here and there. What so. up, Paint? And if Paint you're new to the channel, thanks for thanks for um, subscribing, because I hope you did. Uh, and yeah, we're a little bit a little bit wild around here, but uh, we like to Heck we like to have fun and teach and drink ice lattes. So truly, I still got my mullet. Happy 2020. Uh, 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 okay, bye. Dude, dude, honestly, no one watches till the end anyway. If you did see this crazy long outro, give us a comment. We love the long outros. It's how we get to like a 10, 12 minute video. Two minute outro. Yeah. Honestly though. Honestly though, this thing's sick. <laughs> I'm still rolling. <laughs> okay, see you. Honestly, dude. if you're not buying an ND filter or a variable ND filter, I'm, I just think you're blowing it to be honest. That's just like, oh, that, that's just truth. Real. The real truth real. comes out. All right. Bad. We're out. Back to the gray Seattle. Peace.